So hey, what's going on? Josh Cantwell back again, the strategic real estate coach with strategicrealestatecoach.com where we teach you tons of different strategies on how to find, acquire, buy, fix, and sell real estate for big profits. Visit us at strategicrealestatecoach.com. We've got a free report there called 55 Simple and Powerful Ways that Find Great Real Estate Investments. And today I wanna to tell you about bidding on auction houses. One of the things that we teach inside of this free report is how to buy properties that are auctions. There's a couple different ways. Today what we're gonna talk about is online auctions, okay? Um, so there's online auctions and then there's live auctions. So there's a couple different websites out there that handle online auctions, right? There's Home Search, okay? There is auction.com, and there is hubzoo.com, okay? These are all different strategies that we teach inside of our free report and exactly how to do it. Now, each one of these sites is different, but they're all kind of do the same thing. They're all house investment properties. And through these three sites, they've sold tens of billions of dollars in real estate, okay? So check out homesearch.com, auction.com, hubzoo.com. Now, I can tell you right now, the one out of the three sites that I prefer is auction.com because they, they actually sort of have their stuff together. Once you actually win the bid through Home Search and Hubzoo, it's a total cluster. It's a mess. They, they, they don't know what title company they're using. They don't know when the closings are. They, they don't even know if you won the bid, okay? So once you win the bid, you got to call them up. You have to ask them. You got to talk to them. You might be talking to somebody in, in, you know, overseas. You might be talking to somebody who doesn't speak much English. You might not, not really, they might not know what's going on, but you won the bid and that's really all that matters, okay? So with online auctions, what you're basically gonna do is you're gonna set up a free account, okay? Set up a free account and you're just gonna set up a username and password, okay? Once you set up a username and a password, then you can put in your search, right? So you're gonna put in things like three bed, one bath. You'll put in your zip codes, okay? The zip codes that you wanna buy in, okay? For us, we primarily buy in the Southeast and Southwest Cleveland suburbs. And then, I don't really look at price points at all. When I'm looking at auction sites and auction properties, I don't really put in my search based on price points because in general, all the auction prices start low and go up. That's sort of what they do with auctions. So I don't really worry about the prices. I just look at what property, what inventory is available on these different sites. So once you set up a free account, beds, baths, and zip codes, you're good to go. Now, the next thing you wanna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to check and see is the property on the MLS or can you get access to the inside of the house before the auction? Okay, now why would you wanna do that? Why would you wanna see if it's on the MLS? Why would you wanna see if the property has access to the inside? So you can put together your plan, your scope of work, to see what the repairs are gonna cost. Obviously, if you can't get inside, you're not really gonna be able to accurately put together your rehab budget. So MLS, access inside the property before the auction, simple as that, right? Now, there's some other covert ways to get in the house. Sometimes there's a window that's open. Uh, sometimes there's doors that are open or jiggly and you wanna get in. That's one of the tough things with auctions is you really wanna get in the house so you know how to accurately forecast the repairs. And if you can't forecast the repairs, I don't recommend you bidding blind, okay? So when you're, again, looking at auction sites, one of the key things is to remember, just don't bid blind. You could be blindsided if you buy a property and you go in there and you know there's unexpected repairs. You know, maybe it's plumbing, maybe it's electrical, maybe there's been a huge flood, maybe there's tons of mold. That could be a huge problem, right? So you wanna get inside the property before you bid on them at the auction. The most important thing though with online auctions is you have to be able to, have to be able to, have to be able to determine your maximum offer price. Okay? 
And if you've been a subscriber of mine for a while, if you're one of our friends on Facebook or you're you know, one of our subscribers to our YouTube channel, which, oh, by the way, make sure you click the little red button and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. You get all these videos are free, right? You're gonna use, to determine your maximum offer price, you're gonna use the automated offer formula. Automated offer formula. Okay, I've covered this in other videos, but I'll cover it real quick. Take the after repaired value times 65% minus the repairs, and that equals your max. That equals your maximum offer price, okay? And it doesn't matter if it's an online auction, if it's an MLS property, if it's a probate, if it's an inheritance property, if it's an out-of-town landlord, if it's a for sale by owner, if it's on Craigslist, it doesn't matter. You use the automated offer formula every time. If you do this, you can either rehab them for big profits, you can rent them out for cash flow, you can wholesale them for quick cash, it doesn't matter. You'll never make a mistake if you use the automated offer formula. So that's auctions, those are online auctions, that's how they work. So real quick, you set up a free account, input your data, beds, baths, and zip codes, see if you can get inside the property, find out when the auction day and time is, and start to make your bid based on the maximum offer price. Now, something you gotta be aware of, before I let you go, before you run off to the next video and watch something else on our YouTube channel, make sure you know what is your down payment, your deposit gonna be. Most sites, 10% down, okay? Most sites, okay? Now, homesearch.com, we recently bought a house, we put $3,000 earnest money deposit, okay? But a lot of them 10% down. The other 90% you can finance, okay? And you're gonna get about, you know, 30 to 40 days to close, okay? A lot of times these auction sites, they're such a cluster, they're such a mess, they don't even have the deed, the sheriff's deed or the bank deed or the warranty deed to close. They don't even have the deed. So they'll say, hey, we want you to close in a week or two weeks. Well, don't be scared because they probably don't even have the deed. So you probably don't need to close in the next two weeks. You have 30 to 40 days to close, right? So what you're gonna have to do is maybe use your own money for the down payment or have your private lender ready to give you the down payment and then come up with the other 90% over the next 30 to 40 days. The other thing that's really tough about auction properties is getting any kind of you know, hard money or getting any kind of financing at all other than cash or private money, okay? Because when you get the bid, a lot of times they want this money down, they wanna close quick. It's sometimes it's difficult for a, a lender like Freeland Lending, like my company that makes loans, freelandlending.com, or other hard money lenders, it's tough for us to get the underwriting, the appraisal done in order to close on time. So be prepared when you buy auction properties, be prepared to close cash or private money. Then you can always refinance, pull your cash out by using uh, an asset-based lender, a hard money lender, but be ready and be prepared to close cash because cash is king, they wanna close quick. That's how auction sites work, okay? All right, so listen, if you wanna learn more about how to buy properties on auction.com, home search, HubZoo, you wanna learn more about just buying auction properties, visit us in two places. Go to strategicrealestatecoach.com, download our free report, 55 simple and powerful ways that find great real estate investments. It's yours free, just go ahead, put in your email, we'll email it to you, and we'll send you some follow-up emails and tell you about you know, what we do, and we'll send you more cool videos like this. Or number two, go to flippinfun.com, and join us at one of our live training events, one of our live uh, workshops and boot camps where you can come and learn more about auctions, buying properties, maximum offer prices, automated offer formulas, how to get access to the MLS, how to buy properties, how to get hard money, private money. Come to one of our live events, flippinfun.com. We'll see you there. Talk to you soon.